In this exercise, we will explore basic workspace usage. FME Server is a model-driven spatial ETL application. The models, aka workspaces, are created using a desktop application called FME Workbench. This chapter will introduce how FME Workbench can be used to open and publish a workspace to FME Server and how to run that workspace through the FME Server web interface. Let's begin by starting FME Workbench. We'll go to the Start menu, All Programs, FME Desktop 2015, and click on FME Workbench. In the Getting Started section of the Workbench Start page, click on the option to open Workspace. We will click on Exercise to Begin.fmw. Now let's examine this workspace. A workspace is a graphical representation of an FME data translation. This one is designed to read a table of parks and tables of cycle routes from a PostGIS database, process them, and write them back to two new PostGIS tables. As a spatial ETL tool, FME permits transformation between reading and writing data. This workspace transforms the data by dividing it into parks with and without off-leash dog runs. It also calculates the area in square meters of each park and the length in meters of bicycle paths that run through it. Now let's publish this workspace to FME Server. In the File menu, click on Publish to FME Server. The first step is to connect to an FME Server. We'll enter our URL here server-tutorial-2015-safe-software.fmecloud.com slash fme server. Our username is tutorial and our password is truth and beauty. Click next. And now we select the repository in which to store the workspace. We'll select the tutorial repository and we'll rename the workspace to avoid clashing with other users. Click Next. The final step is to register what services to record the workspace against. For now, simply leave the job submitter selected and click Publish. The workspace is now published to FME Server. We'll now run this workspace with FME Server. We'll go back to our web browser and our FME Server interface. Click the Run Workspace button. This brings us to our workspace repository. Inside of the tutorial repository, we see the workspace that we just published to FME Server. Click on that. Click again on the Job Submitter Service. And this will bring us to a configure page. We'll ignore this for now and visit it in a later tutorial. Just click Run Workspace. Our translation is was successful. The data was read from a PostGIS database, transformed, and written back to two new tables. So, to sum up, in this tutorial, we've opened and viewed an FME workspace, we've published that workspace to FME Server, and we've run the workspace on FME Server as well.